Chaser got $14 billion of taxpayers' money, the people's money, but operate with utter disregard and carelessness towards the lives and interests of workers, consumers, and motorists. I'm sure Chrysler management would like for us to all be quiet and go away. But I can see that you are not about to go away. And neither am I. Consumers are kept in the dark because automakers and dealers are allowed to hide substantial damage up to several thousands of dollars in certain states. This not only hurts consumers' wallets, it can also be a safety issue. I confronted Mr. Marchioni on behalf of over a thousand Chrysler victims who were left behind when Chrysler went bankrupt. Myself and most of my family and friends are all union members and we want Chrysler to succeed. But I also believe that people should be able to buy a vehicle without getting maimed or killed because of the defects that Chrysler management knows about but refuses to fix. Chrysler used the bankruptcy process to evade their responsibilities toward over 1,000 customers who were injured or killed in defective Chrysler vehicles. Some have catastrophic injuries. Many are children. The reason my family is so passionate about this issue is because on August 3rd, 2008, our lives were forever changed. Our mother, Linda Catalano, was killed when she stopped her Chrysler Town and Country minivan to pick up yard sale signs. She placed her van into park and got out of the van with the engine running. When she was fully out of the van, itself shifted into reverse, knocking her to the ground and pinning her underneath the left front tire where she died. The defect has been known to Chrysler since the 1960s and is referred to as park to reverse or false park. My entire family, including my brother Brian who is here today, and my brother Brad are still devastated and stricken with grief. I am sure all of you can understand how we feel and how we felt. Others have also lost family members and been severely injured. Sean Doss was three years old when his seatbelt in a Dodge Durango failed during an accident. He is now a paraplegic and is paralyzed from the chest down. Lily Stellinger was five years old when her parents Dodge Stratus was rear-ended. She was secured in a child safety seat and would have survived, but the, defect, the defective front seat backs collapsed backward and crushed her skull by the impact from the front seat. Lily's parents, who also live here in Michigan, have been de denied a hearing by Chrysler's bankruptcy. Jeremy Warner was trapped in a vehicle fire caused by defects in his Jeep Wrangler. As a result, he lost both legs due to burns. Chrysler delayed his court proceedings until after the bankruptcy so they wouldn't be held accountable for his disability. Did we bail out Chrysler just so they could turn our backs on their injured customers and on the people and families who build their cars and who haul them? No. no way we didn't. I ask you what the difference is between old Chrysler and new Chrysler. Old Chrysler, who wouldn't spend the money to save my mother's life by fixing those defective vehicles, and the new Chrysler, who will not spend $10 extra a car to ensure the safe delivery of their vehicles by you, the Teamsters. Thank you for inviting me here today. I also want to thank Representative Conyers for joining us. I hope and pray that he will continue to work with us to make sure your voices are heard, my voice
voice and all the voices of the people that Chrysler is trying to leave behind can finally be heard. We will get jobs, we will get justice, and we will prevail! Consumers, motorists, and workers together will not let Fiat Chrysler get away with harming the public interest. We will stop the bailout bandits. Oh, yeah.